Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Now that we have the boat, the whole world has opened up to us. Which means there's lots of side questing to do. But before we go and do all that side questing, we should catch frogs. That way the frog populations can recover from our... from our hunting. Come far in way of Goromon. I give you this. Oh, thank you, Master Quare. A train ball. Alright, now to get back to uh, catching babies. That's right, we came here so that we can eat babies. I can only presume that that's what Quistus does with, with the frogs. I won't judge. Gotcha! Alright. Let's head for the... Uh... Done catching. Let's equip that fork. Because... There's a really powerful fork. As for our current grouping, well, Freya, Freya, Freya and Quistus are, are in the group specifically so they can gain levels, so they have level up equipped. Quistus is also in the group because we can't go catching frogs without her. And Dagger, well, she has a lot of summons to learn. Uh, we definitely want her to learn them. Even though, right now, she's not terribly useful to the group. Oh well. Off to the Outer Continents. Alright. Up for some slightly more difficult frog catching. Here are you. Gotcha. That's same as in, as the uh, Mist Continent Marsh. We're just here for the babies. Oh, ha, ha. All right. Now we've taken care of that. Let's make our way to a new marsh. Which is now available to us because we have a boat. Hooray! Hey, buddy. Hmm. Gosh, I wish I could just, uh, I could just encourage you to, to hop on the Blue Narcissus. Because, uh... I could really do with having you around. Oh well. We'll see more of you later, Choco. As for us, off to our new marshland. Which is on the other side of the map. Because of course it is. And there's our marsh. What do we got here? We have that event toy. Which is a search of which, which is a source of a blue magic for us. So, uh, fourteen.
That'll do it. Poor girl. Dagger in her current state of being will occasionally lose turns because she can't concentrate and she also cannot trance. As you might have noticed, she doesn't have a trance bar. That's what happens when, when that's what happens because she's in that state of grief, I suppose. get those, because I want you to earn that level up. Fortunately, uh, Dagger can use her spells just fine outside of combat. Speaking of blue magics, inside the marsh we can run into... Anemones, which have about as many hit points as the as the adamant toys, but if we eat them, then we can then we can gain the bad breath blue magic. But that is a hunt that I'm not going to do right now. Instead, we have frogs to hunt. Nice full grouping of frogs. Time to cull the population. A male. Do I see another male? Yes. Oh. That's a male. So is that one. All right. I want one of these females. Excellent. All right. Now to get out of here and uh, proceed to really hunt for treasure. Back to the boat. Or get mauled on the plane. Is that, um... Yeah, yeah, we can't fight that! Must run faster! Must run faster! That's a Grand Dragon, it's level 60! I think it just nerf murdered us. Yeah, it did. Well, that happened. Try that again. And we made it this time. Hooray! Oh, going the wrong way.
It doesn't occur to me. I the thing I should have done uh, and, and against the against the Grand Dragon was have Zidane select his select his flea ability, but uh, I was a little bit too panicked. I'd sight and all. Oh well. Oh, it's called Choco. He'll protect me from such things. Let's go for a stroll. And yes, this drawn-out path is a, is a direction we need to go in order to reach our destination. Despite what looks like plenty of other pathways, now, now this is the only one that, that leads to this cavern. The Chocobo's Lagoon. Any, what are you doing here? I did some research and wound up here. There's holy light similar to that in fo of the forest. I know we can find choco grass here. Let's dig around some more. It's tougher to dig in bottom of lagoon than it than it is in forest. He is not kidding. <laughs> we can only dig in the shallow parts. Choco doesn't like to go deep in to go deep in water. So the area is limited. Okay, so I'll make it half time, half price. Yeah, yeah. Choco won't uh, go into the deeper er, part. Fortunately, that reaction is not something that he has as well playing Cho uh, hot and cold. But yeah, the uh, the ground here is much harder, and uh, all items are significantly deeper or er, down. And. Half time, half price. I suppose it sounds like a deal, but it really isn't. It actually makes makes this a chore. Yeah, all, all the items are going to be between in 60 and 80 in depth at this point and nine nine points of whack yeah that takes a while to dig through it's only 30 seconds and the music doesn't even have time to spin up dig So in effect, we really only want to dig here until we find a specific chocograph. Oh my gosh, we found it! That is exactly the chocograph we want to find, so uh, let's get out of here. All right. Make our way around to the blue Narcissus. That's the game's trying to apologize for that grand dragon from earlier. All right. Now we'll, we'll sail our way to towards the Chocobo Forest. Not to go into the forest, just to call for Choco.
Hey, buddy. Let's go places. Off to the Don Lagoon, which is nearby Trino, as you can tell by the, uh, by the way the lights, by the way, uh, it gets dark. There it is. Ah, straight smoke. the ability to climb mountains. You are heading towards your homeland. Hurry home. Hooray! We have a say Chocos oh, has some nice fiery red plumage. And of course, can scale mountains. Which makes our positioning kind of convenient. We want to go into Trino. After all, there are new items in the auction house. One of which we want desperately. A rat tail, Douglas artifact, the acclaimed Medane's ring, and the acclaimed thief's gloves, which are actually what we're here for. Now, uh, the rat tail and the artifacts, we could buy them again, but the only purpose in doing that is keeping them from showing up in the auction again. We cannot sell them again. And well, since we have already bought and sold them, we are done with them, so, uh, we don't care for them. In fact, the only thing in this in this auction lineup we care about are the Thief Club, so, uh, one moment. I'll be honest, 26k seems seems like a pretty good price for them. <laughs> oh, normally, normally they can be gotten for or around for around 20,000, but uh, these things grant the master thief ability. If you do any significant stealing, you want master thief. Uh, steals better items. The major things which Master Thief does is that if an if an item if a enemy's item slot for stealing is empty, then the algorithm will actually just skip that slot. You know? So if you've already stolen the uncommon item, it's not going to check that slot. Or if they don't have a rare item, it's not going to bother checking. Because you can't fail to steal because you managed to steal a rare a rare item that isn't there. But speaking of rare and semi-rare, Master Thief also changes the odds of stealing those for the rare from 1 in 256 to 1 in 8. 
and the semi-rare from 1 in 16 to 1 in 8. So, <laughs> we really want this. Actually makes the day potentially competent at stealing things. And there's another, there's, there is another ring to, to try and get a hold of here. It is the promised ring. Not that. Not that. I can see why, why getting those other key items again would be worthwhile. They do get in the way. But if you can't get them for cheap, then uh, they are just a waste of money. There's a promise ring. Promise ring is only available after the card tournament, and you need to not have any in have one in your inventory. So let's set about getting one because they're pretty useful. picked up the promised ring at at uh, at a rate which basic which kind of uh save save the earn back the money lost on the thief gloves. Oh yeah story store HP absorb MP magic element no absorb M MP would be a lot more useful if more people could could actually learn it. But the uh, primary person who can actually learn that is Quistus. Primary and only person. Which is a shame because, uh, yeah, just absorb the, uh, the MP that's, if hit by a spell, absorb that MP. I really wish other people could learn it. Oh well. Whilst we're here in town. Let's do a bit of synthesizing. I do want to buy some of these, because, uh... I don't have any gold chokers. Where are those cotton robes? Oh, they're here somewhere. There you are. The other thing we could do while we're here is, tur is turn in the uh, Steliazzo. But turning that in... But the reward for turning this one in is 20,000 gil, so we can wait on it. Sir. All right. Now oh, we're done here in Trino, so let's get out of here. And 
no, I certainly have not forgotten to to uh, sell those those things. Just to that end, I do have to wonder. This is Southgate. I don't know how Steiner and Garnet got here. I mean, really. Hold it right there! What's the purpose of your visit? Just a bit of trade. Oh, you have a gate pass. Sorry about that. Grab the item that we couldn't get earlier. Which is a shame because uh, that card could have been useful during the card tournament. Yeah, that could have been useful. Hello, sir. Buy my junk. Sorry, it's not operational. Everything runs on a mist engine. Glad it's gone, but it's certainly inconvenient. Yeah. We may have ruined more lives than we helped by getting rid of the mist. struggling dolly economy. Alright, now to make our way to the Chocobo Forest. We do need to avoid the river. Oh, you're flaming red now. Yes. Specifically, what are we after? The chunk of graph that, that goes here. It will be named Green Plains. Let's play. First chunk of game day couple of new abilities uh, first and foremost which you which might be too subtle to notice is that he actually digs faster but we're a mountain chocobo now so uh, there's new areas to look at or to search in probably a drawback but at the same time we ripped through the ground so quickly, it's kind of a non-issue. That's amazing! Give you a bonus time! I'll double the points from here! Incidentally, this part, when it's half time, half price, there is no doubling of points. There is no additional time gain. You're actually forced to stop at, after finding four. And you get extra points for, for hitting the, uh, the, the find limit. We absolutely want to hit the find limit. That is worth the most points by far. Can we find it? 
No. <laughs> Dead pepper, a new item. Chunker crab beef and a chunker crab. What's this dead pepper? Can I see? This is super spicy pepper. It was precious seasoning long, long ago. The mist wiped out plant that grows these peppers, though. You should keep it. It might come in handy. All right, then. Hey, buddy. What chunker graph did we find? Not the one we care about. Well, back to the, back to the search. stuck on things. Alright, Choco, how about this one? Nope. Written Forest is a good one, but uh, we'll look into... We'll, we'll pick... We'll go searching for those next time. Nice. Is that the graph we're looking for? No, it is not. Alright then.
That's gotta be the chunk of crap we're looking for. Choco's next, next chunk of crap for progress is specifically found here in the forest. Another piece. Choco says he can't find any more Choco graphs here for now. Well, that's telling. Why don't you use Chocobo's Lagoon or use Choco graph and do some treasure hunting? Well, come on then, buddy. Alrighty. The Green Plains. I suppose, while we're here. Literally right here. Beach. There's the forest. Getting sleepy. Sir! Wanderer, we await your return. Choco, you now have the ability to cross oceans. You're getting close to your homeland. ourselves a blue chocobo which uh well doesn't it's not as powerful as the golden chocobo in final fantasy 7 i'll put it that way <laughs> it's another case of while well, we're here Found. And a Moogle, but we don't have any, we don't have any mail for that Moogle. Or does the Moogle have any mail for us? But yeah, we lack the ability to actually jump off of cliffs, so 
getting in getting into and out of the ocean does require a beach. All right, let's make our way back to the to the Chocobo Forest because now that we have now that we have our now that we have the ability to traverse oceans, there's somehow another chocograph here for us to dig up. You look kind of dirty. Meow. Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what color you are. You're still my choco. Or if he's my choco. Let's play another game and uh, pay attention to how quickly choco will dig now. Amazing! Extra time and double point! Yeah, it makes a difference. Also, now that we have ocean walking ability, when we go back to Chunkbo Lagoon, we'll be able to play a full game of of hot and cold. Not just not this half price, half time nonsense. Cause we'll be able to dig up and dig in the entirety of the lagoon. But that's for when we get there. How did that first dig come up with nothing? Thousands of tears later. Choco, am, am I just just being stupid? Let's see. What ones are we supposed to find here at this point? 
Uh, Forbidden Forest, Green Plains, Forgotten Plains, Cold Lagoon. So this is the one, so this particular chocograph, according to my notes, isn't findable until, uh, until you have ocean crossing ability. Clearly my notes are wrong. No wonder I'm not finding any chocographs. There aren't any left to find. Let's go to the lagoon. Fortunately, this is made easier by the, by the point that we don't need to, to actually board the boat. So, there should be six chocographs to find here. And looking at the numbers, that seems accurate. Let's see if we can find any. Are you holding out on me, Minnie? I can't hear at the lagoon because it is a lot smaller than the forest. also doesn't have the have a have this weird I'm going to call it a bug but uh, hitting the ground immediately he, he in the forest won't necessarily reveal a ill the presence of something to find even if that that something is very close to your starting position yeah the lagoon doesn't have that problem I should check the entrance.
Yay!
Hold that on me, Minnie. Available choco grass to us right now. Which doesn't seem. No, that is all of them. The 24, we have 20 of the 24. So, next time, I suppose we'll go looking for them. Though I will say, I am disappointed that I did not manage to, uh, to hit the search limit because it's really funny to watch to watch Mene's mask slip during during that. So do not fear death. Find one to the savage in the islands in savage. See what lies there. Courageous one, head southeast on the outer to reach Quintus Peninsula. See what lies there. Noble one, head north on the mist continents. Reach Alexandria Plains. See what lies there. Yeah, there are two more chocograph pieces for us to find, but uh, they're not findable until we reach a certain point in the storyline. So uh, those will have to be it for another time. And, oh, we will go and uh, search out all these chocographs next time. We'll see you then. Later.